this long storied issue between the former members of RK Bro, Randy Orton, and the original Bro, Riddle, are set to fight things out once and for all. Falls count anywhere. The following contest is a Falls Count Anywhere match. Making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri. Weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton. It would be missed words to say Randy Orton has been a different man as of late. Because we have seen these kind of actions and this kind of attitude out of the Apex Predator several times throughout his career. But to see it happen on the other side of a man who we thought was Randy Orton's closest friend and the original Bro Riddle is absolutely heartbreaking to witness. It has been a very interesting situation to follow to say the very least. From May 23rd up until July 13th, Riddle was on the shelf due to the actions of that man right there. Randy Orton. Riddle returned with a vengeance. He wants Randy Orton's head on a silver platter. These two have been brawling and at each other's necks for weeks, hence the reason why we have a Falls Count Anywhere match tonight. This match started in the parking garage of the Moondy Center in Austin, Texas. They fought in the backstage area. They fought at ringside upon Riddle's return. These two men have taken it everywhere in the arena already. There's no stone left uncovered. And these guys are going to rewrite it all here tonight. Riddle wants his revenge. Randy Orton wants to move past Riddle once and for all. And Randy Orton promised if he picks up the victory here tonight that he's putting Riddle in his past once and for all. This is Riddle's one shot, one chance at true retribution and vengeance over his former best friend in the world. The original bro is back in action. Let's see what he's got to offer. And his opponent from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 216 pounds, Riddle. Riddle has not been in the ring since the middle of May. And it's been quite some time since Riddle's got his hands dirty. But now with this situation with Randy Orton, Riddle's coming back for what we can only assume is at 100%. And now, being able to step foot inside the ring again and get his hands dirty inside that squared circle, this time with purpose, this time with reason, RK Bro has imploded, exploded, week after week. And it's time to settle the score, a match we ever thought we'd see, but it happens here tonight. Orton versus Riddle, falls count anywhere, extreme rules. We know what Randy Orton's motive is going to be in this matchup. Finish what he started on May 23rd. Beat the hell out of Riddle and put him in his past once and for all. Randy Orton wants to move on with his career. He saw Riddle holding him back from opportunities. And to be more specific, you remember back when these two men were the World Tag Team Champions and they lost those titles to the Viking Raiders on Monday Night Raw. Who was pinned in that original contest? That would be Riddle. When it came to Backlash in the rematch for the World Tag Team Championships, RK Bro versus the Viking Raiders, who was pinned? Riddle. And who was the man that was chosen out of RK Bro? Only one of them was going to receive a Money in the Bank qualifying matchup a couple of months ago. And who was the man that was chosen? That was Riddle. Randy Orton saw Riddle stepping in the way of championship opportunities and decided it was time to cut his ties. Orton said in his words, he tried putting Riddle down easy and tried to place the blame on Bobby Lashley in the Hurt Business. Warren wanted to move on without even having to face Riddle. But Riddle knew the truth. Riddle got his hands on the footage to prove it. And now Riddle wants his vengeance. Warren wants nothing to do with his old tag team partner though, but promised him this one match here tonight. But remember what Orton said in the tweets a few weeks ago. This is the one shot he is giving Riddle. One shot, one night, one opportunity to get what he wants. But if Riddle fails, or in Orton's, or, Orton's words, excuse me, when Riddle ultimately does fail, then that's it. Riddle's got no more chances. There is only one and only chance to get the retribution he is looking for. Randy Orton's looking for one and done, moving past his tag team partner here tonight. That is the story that has 
been written on this contest over the last number of months. And things coming to blows these last number of weeks. And again, the reason for the Falls Count Anywhere matchup tonight, not just because the show is named Ex Extreme Rules, but because of the fact that this brawl between these two men has literally been taken to every single corner of the arenas these last number of weeks and months, dating back to May 23rd and the original attack in the parking garage. These two men, again, fighting on the outside right now. Pinfalls and submissions can take place anywhere. Of course, no countouts, no disqualifications. And we saw those things and those stipulations really come to play when these two men were brawling with each other upon Riddle's return here at ringside a couple of weeks ago when Riddle put Randy Orton through a table, hit him over the head with a steel chair, an absolutely brutal awakening for Riddle and Randy Orton on that night. And then, of course, the week after, these two men, cameras cut rapidly to the backstage area. These two men were once again having another brawl, and Randy Orton got the better of Riddle on that night. Sent him spine first through the wood of a table, onto the concrete, on the floor backstage! And you remember what Riddle originally went out with an injury with, that we found out the night, that we now know that Randy Orton was the one who put him on the shelf. It was a concussion, a very serious concussion that Riddle had to take a few months off for. So Riddle's got to be careful tonight. We know he's 100%, but still, he never would have re-aggravated an old injury as Randy Orton took the announce table apart in front of us, but Riddle's now coming with other ideas. And as we mentioned for Orton, it's not just about moving past Riddle, it's about putting him out of his so-called misery, as Orton put it, once and for all. Orton tried putting Riddle on the shelf. Riddle came back for more. Orton wants to end Riddle's career once and for all tonight. Orton never wants to see the original bro in his grasp ever again. Riddle back in the ring. Randy Orton going after him here. Orton grabbing a hold. And another DDT. And again, the concussion that put Riddle on the shelf. He may be 100%, but there's always the lingering effect. And there's always the chance of re-aggravating old injuries. As now Riddle, awakening is the beast. Grabbing a hold of Randy Orton, sending him for a ride. And again, the close friendship of these two men, Randy Orton and Riddle. No one ever expected them to be as successful as they were as a tag team, become the friends they did, but the better part of a year held those, held those World Tag Team Championships, excuse me. It was only these last number of months where we really saw the unfortunate demise of RK Bro. Randy Orton, we talked about back at SummerSlam and the weeks that followed, how much effort that, and attention he put in to try to put down the hurt business. But he originally, wait a minute, we got a pinfall on the outside off the power bomb. Orton kicking out. Riddle wants to stick it to Orton tonight. Get that victory and stick it to the Viper. And remember, Orton originally didn't want to take the blame for putting Riddle on the shelf. He placed the blame on Bobby Lashley in the Hurt Business due to some of the recent events leading up to Money in the Bank and prior for the original bro and Lashley. Warren went through the Hurt Business, picked up a win over all of them, seemingly gained some momentum back on his side in the process for those losses that he suffered alongside Riddle. And wait a minute here, Orton's got the chair in hand. Riddle avoiding the chair shot though. It's almost as if Orton would have rather Used the hurt business to try to gain some victories for himself, as we mentioned, to get momentum back on his side rather than take the blame for putting Riddle on the shelf. That's seemingly what happened. Riddle going for the cover here on Orton. Orton gets the shoulder up. Notice how this match has just been basically at ringside since the opening bell. This guy's not interested in a wrestling match here tonight. This is about a fight between these two former friends. And things are just getting brutal. That is a headbutt. Notice how many times Orton has gone to the head of Riddle. He knows a lingering effect may be there. And Riddle is smart to be avoiding that steel chair at all costs because if he takes a chair shot over the Chrome Dome, you absolutely know that Riddle is not going to be 100% for the rest of this contest. And Orton's down on the outside in a precarious situation. Riddle eyeing up the Apex Predator. Riddle once thought of Randy Orton as his best friend of the world, his mentor. For the better part of the last year, 
And I'm sure I didn't see this day standing across the ring from Randy Orton ever coming again. But unfortunately for him, the day has come. The time is today. And Riddle's getting what he wants. And Randy Orton once again clearing off another announce table. He's obviously got something in mind for Riddle. And Riddle, I think Orton was trying to throw him on the announce table there. But just the momentum. Riddle just eating the announce table right to the gut. It's enough to knock, that, knock the wind out of you. Possibly break a rib. Randy Orton got the chair. God damn it. Randy Orton with the chair over the head and to the rib cage of Riddle. You know, we try for unbiased commentary. When you know the situation and you know the injuries that Riddle sustained, it gets a little bit hard to watch. And it kind of just makes you want to, God damn, Randy Orton. And Orton was going for the shot with the steel steps. Riddle able to block it. Orton's kind of trying to come after him here. And Riddle knows the situation. He's trying to avoid the weapons at all costs. As Orton's head gets bounced off the announce table. And Riddle throwing Randy Orton back into the ring. We mentioned this match has been already been on the ringside area here, but Riddle has got other plans for the Apex Predator. He eats a right hand from the Viper. And Riddle's down. Wait a minute, where's Randy Orton going? Orton's heading to the outside. Orton's eyeing up those steel steps now. Riddle coming from behind. Oh my. Man, that's hard to watch. Steel steps over the head of Riddle. Riddle's maybe knocked out. Orton's heading up the entrance ramp. It is false count anywhere. So I can't be surprised, but you do have to question what Randy Orton's got in mind. He's bringing those steel steps to the top of our entrance ramp here in Seattle tonight. Riddle's going after him. Orton with the steps, but Riddle able to block him. Whatever Orton's got in mind, Riddle's trying to avoid at all costs and take the momentum back on his side in this contest. Oof, what a kick to the head. And a Riddle coming from behind, showcasing that MMA background. What shots? Submission hold on the top of the stage. Falls can anywhere coming to play. If Orton taps, this match is over, and Riddle gets his retribution. Orton may be a little bit dazed off that shot, but he's still got fight in him. Able to break the hold of the original bro. I mean, Extreme Rules living up to its name here tonight. This match has been so far away from a wrestling match as we obviously expected. A false count anywhere fight between these two men as Orton throws Riddle right near the LED boards here in the entrance. Riddle avoiding the fight now. Trying to go after Randy Orton. Wait a minute here. A little bit of the light beams in the way, but Riddle may have just secured himself a victory. And oh, Orton kicked out at the very last second. Orton does not want to give Riddle the satisfaction of gaining that momentum and gaining that retribution here tonight. Orton wants to stay on the high of cutting his ties with Riddle. And as we mentioned, put him down for good in the Viper's eyes. Riddle almost had him there. Caught Randy Orton off guard. He absolutely wasn't expecting that. And things are going to be dangerous up there. The LED boards, the stage itself, the steel paneling. You think the ring and ringside is dangerous. It only gets more dangerous the farther you stray out. As it comes to expect that a falls can anywhere stipulation as the fist fight continues at the top of the stage. Nothing short of brutality in this contest. I'm not on the stage. Randy Orton. What a suplex there as Riddle just falls spine first. On the top of the entrance ramp. And remember, Orton's got them steel steps up there. I'm sure he brought them up there for a reason. And now Riddle precariously close to the edge of the stage. Hell, it was just this past Monday on Raw, we saw Edge and AJ Styles brought around the arena. Edge jumped off the damn stage. We could see something like that in this contest. And now Orton trying to take the fight to Riddle, but Riddle countering. A little bit of that MMA background again, rolling out with the shots to Randy Orton. And Orton's now... In a state where the stage teeter totter in there, but Orton able to counter whatever Riddle had going. Elbow to the face, and a loop that's pressed. And that's going to hurt even more, falling on the edge of the stage there. And you guys can see, looking out here in the arena, a concrete floor lies next to these men right here. Randy Orton's heading down. Any fall on that is going to be about 20 times worse than any fall anywhere else in the arena. You got to assume. 
Morton's down there. Riddle's going to follow. I don't know if Riddle is really coming into this match. The, the way I'm reading this matchup, it doesn't almost seem like Riddle came in with any more of a strategy tonight rather than to just fight Randy Orton. And when you see stuff like that, you can't really argue Riddle's strategy, but the majority of this contest has felt very Randy Orton dictated. Orton came in with a strategy tonight to hurt the original bro. And Riddle's hanging in there. Riddle's surviving the fight and has given Randy Orton the same amount of effort back. Oh, well, no. come on now. Come on. Not on the concrete. Damn it. Again, we try to be unbiased. But when you know the situation and you know the prior injuries, it just gets hard to watch when you see Riddle coming off a concussion in his first match back. Getting dropped back first, spine first, neck first, right on the concrete. And the longer this match progresses, and the more you see moves like that, and the more we talk about how this match has really been a Randy Orton dictated fight, you just get worried for the health and conditioning of the original bro. Is it worth to continue on with this fight with Randy Orton? But you know the heart of the original bro, Riddle. He came out with purpose tonight. He wants his vengeance, Jesus! My God. Riddle just ate that LED board right to the shoulder. That is not good. Wait a minute, he's got Randy Orton here. Go to sleep. German suplex on the concrete. And Randy Orton getting up out of instinct, but Riddle's grabbing a hold. Orton's clearly dazed here. And Orton once again takes a fall on the concrete. And that's gonna keep the Viper down. Man, this match is truly living up to the extreme rules manner here as Riddle's beating the hell out of Randy Orton. Nothing pretty, just a fist to the face is what Riddle wants here tonight. And not another power bomb on the concrete. And the positioning on that landing, Orton's head most definitely might have hit that LED board. And again, and Riddle is just tossing Randy Orton all around the concrete here. He's going to follow it up with a damn suplex on the floor. Riddle is beating the hell out of his former tag team partner right now. The original bro is coming unglued. Orton's up. But Riddle's got something in mind. Oh, wait a minute. Orton cutting him off here. And a neck breaker. Oh, right on the concrete. Man, the brutality of this contest. Everything just hits harder. Lands more vicious like moves like that when you're fighting not in a ring, but on a concrete floor Orton climbing back up on the stage We're now coming back down to try to throw off riddle as he does there the drop kick takes riddle off his feet These guys have been brawling in this area for a couple of minutes now And you know these two aren't gonna come out unscathed there's gonna be some bruises and Beaten bodies getting drug out of the arena here tonight. Win, lose, or draw between Randy Orton and Riddle. These two men finding their way back up to the top of the stage here where we've been the last couple of minutes in this matchup. As we're really starting to get in deep waters in this false count anywhere. I don't even want to call it a match because this is a fight between Riddle and Orton. And Orton's had enough. Orton's walking his way back to the entrance. Or excuse me, back down to the ring. Riddle's going to... Follow the Viper here, but obviously Riddle's taking a lot of offense, as is Randy Orton. Both men going to be moving slower as we get in the late rounds in this contest. Got to go split screen here. Riddle's walking his way down. Orton back out here at ringside. The Viper's clearly got something in mind as he's amongst the chaos. Riddle's grabbing a hold, or excuse me, Orton's grabbing a hold of the steel steps. Riddle's got to watch! And Orton just sneaking up, steel steps right to the head of the original bro. And Orton's been, oh my. Randy Orton going underneath the ring and grabbing a damn sledgehammer and Riddle better avoid that at all costs. Riddle coming back from injury tonight has already taken a bruising beating from Randy Orton. Orton learning from his old mentor Triple H and pulling out a damn sledgehammer here tonight in Seattle. And Riddle's down and Orton's going back to that sledgehammer. He's clearly got something in mind right to the sternum of Riddle. Oh, you see how he tried going down. Riddle avoided it. Oh, Riddle's just fighting out of instinct right now. You see there's no orthodox 
or no plan, I should say, to what, whatever Riddle's trying to throw at Orton, but Orton is using the sledgehammer right now, and this is this is starting to get a little bit of an uncomfortable situation here at Extreme Rules. Oh my, oh God. Several sledgehammer shots. And I think we know what Orton is going for. RKO on the damn sledgehammer. Call for the damn bell, forget the three. Randy Orton wins. Oh my goodness. Folks, I don't even have any words for what we just witnessed. It almost got more heartbreaking and more uncomfortable to watch as this fight progressed. Former best friends, former tag team champions, former tag team partners. Here is your winner, the Viper, Randy For a moment there, there was almost a near hush in this arena. The uncomfortability and the shock of what we just witnessed. Randy Orton using a sledgehammer, followed by an RKO on that very hammer, and knocking out Riddle. RK Bro is truly dead after tonight. On when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise, you can hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.